In this video, we are going to learn how to generate SQL insert queries automatically using Google Sheet. When we are working on some project and we want to have certain number of records available into our database tables, in that case, we need to execute insert queries onto our database tables so that our database tables get populated with records. When such records are just one or two, we can manually type that insert query. But when we have hundred or thousands of such records we want to insert into our database table, then typing query manually is not efficient approach. So in this video, we will learn how we can automate this task of creating SQL insert queries automatically using Google Sheet. So let's get started. To understand this problem we are using data of stock scripts so we have taken this data from nsc website which is a stock scripts information which contains symbol name of company uh, then series date of listing uh, paid up values market lots and IZ number out of these columns we are going to use symbol name of company and IZ number to be inserted into our database table so we have our database on mysql this is a screen of php my admin we have our database as stocks and we have a table called scripts into which we are going to insert database records using insert queries now let's see the structure of this scripts table so it has four columns one is the primary key which is ID then we have symbol and company name and IZ number now to insert records into this database table we need to execute insert query like this you can see here we have inserted one record using this insert query now let's understand the problem you can see here we have many records available here say around 1800 plus records are there now if we type this query manually one by one as shown here it's going to take a lot of time so in this case we are going to generate this query using google sheet formula and then that result we are going to execute on our mysql database so first let's see this query so we have insert into scripts where scripts is our database table into which i am going to insert column for symbol company name and IZ number and then values are the name of symbol then name of company and IZ number so you can see here the text in red color is a variable which is going to change for each query and we have this double quotes which is in a green color so that double quotes is required for string data type because this symbol then name of company and IZ number we have considered as string now let's see the formula that we need to write now let's understand how we are going to generate this query so that it is going to take values of symbol name of company and IZ number from cells of each row so here we are going to use string concatenation operator so let me write this formula so that you can see it so here you can see the formula that we need to write so this thing in red color is a variable which we are going to replace by the cell reference and because i'm using this double quotes as enclosing string we need to escape the double quotes which is part of string we replace that double quotes by character 34 so this character number 34 is a way to generate that double quotes while we use this string concatenation so let's see this formula so it is insert into scripts symbol comma company name comma is in number then ending round bracket then values so till this point everything is now fixed now after that if you see here our double quotes start so that 
for that we write character 34 now what we have on the left hand side is the hard coded string and then we concatenate this character 34 which is double quotes so for string concatenation we use this ampersand operator so in the following things whenever we are going to perform string concatenation we are going to use this ampersand so you can see that after that we have ampersand then we have b3 so b3 is a cell which contains this symbol now we need to enclose that into double quotes so we need to write this ending double quotes so for that we write this character 34 again and then we concatenate this comma which is this one so again that's a hard coded string so we write it as part of this double quotes then we again concatenate character number 34 because now the double quotes of the next value starts so that is character 34 then we concatenate value of c3 cell which is name of company then again we concatenate double quotes that is this ending double quotes for the second value and then we have comma again that's a hard coded string so we concatenate that one then again we concatenate character 34 which is the starting quote for the third value and then we reference h3 cell which is this iz number and same way we enclose into two double quotes and finally we end our query using this ending round bracket and we write semicolon so once we do this we'll have query generated automatically for that particular row number now once we have that query we simply need to copy from that cell into all other 1850 plus cells so i just paste it and now within few seconds all my queries will be prepared and now i can execute this sql insert queries into our mysql data so let's see how to execute few queries here our previously executed record was inserted now let's write 10 more queries and then click on this go button and we'll see that all these 10 records get inserted in table in this way you can write a formula to generate this sql insert query automatically from our given data so that we don't need to type this query manually and quickly we can populate our database tables with whatever records we want so you can apply this formula for other similar problems so that we can do the task very efficiently thanks for watching and happy learning